What could you decide to show what up? The cat dragged in. This is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> Leave it. I'm a length bending machine. <laughs> You're doing it too. <laughs> Your back window just fell. <laughs> Fluffernutter in them. Do it just. What's up, boys? <clears throat> What's up, boys, Russian Rigs? The same guy that sent us old Henry that we just looked at in the previous episode. Rock Candy RC. Same guy sent us another truck. That's what we're looking at today. Let's see what he said about it. The second truck is the Athos V1 with the flub Toyota body. Went all out for this build. Hope you enjoy. Stock remote. Okay. Not quite sure he went all out. Oh, this looks cool. Let me give you guys a closer look. Okay, so obviously we have the V1 Athos chassis with the links that go with it, the outboard links, and then the double bend rear links. I believe these are RC Steve links, and then it appears that he unthreaded some of them. It looks like the rears are unthreaded to extend the rear some, and then I think he used little rubber spacers here and unthreaded the front some as well. We have the Muse axles. FureTech Venom motor, stock radio and receiver. Looks like a FureTech Lizard ESC, the Enjora 39 millimeter oil shocks. These wheels, I like these wheels a lot. These are the same ones on my Dodson. They're just cheapo no name ones that I got on eBay. Amazon probably has them now too. Enjora tires. What else do we have here? What servo is this? Home's Hobbies. Never seen this servo before. And I did not know it existed. Again, much like his other truck, he used thread. So he has... Shoot. My tripod has a limp leg and it <laughs> falls over easily. There we go. What was I saying? The thread. Much like his last truck, he has thread to hold, to keep the suspension from dropping even more. Same with the rear. He has a piece of thread holding it up. Also, much like his other truck, he used an extra pivot ball to space out the links. And the shocks, I mean. The upper links and the shocks are spaced outwards. Okay, I would imagine this should be pretty good. Looks like it has a good bit of clearance in the rear. The drive shaft hits the receiver tray, and the upper links hit the chassis. But that's okay, because everything can still compress fully. So we'll give that a pass. I really like the body. He did a good job with the colors. This this is a little sticker here from RC Steve Sticker Packs, and he used that obviously to break up the two colors. That's that's cool looking. I like that. All right, let's go test it.
This is the same guy that did Old Henry and also sent the snacks. I don't know, I just don't feel like a person today. <laughs> okay, we can revisit this one. It has the interior. You're oh. always you're always critical about that. Are they both Star Wars? I believe so, yeah. We wouldn't know. <laughs> oh. Didn't take my meds yet. Hmm? You didn't take your meds yet? No. Okay. <laughs> we can revisit this if you want. Okay. Now careful, don't scratch his paint. Jeez. They're stickers. It's too nice of a day today. We gotta take the forerunner. Drunken frog. Good. It's always such a good feeling when they're able to do this line. That means it's going to be somewhat capable. Nice. Good job. Upper drunken frog. Inchworm's edge. There we go. Nice. Nice, that was good. That's a tough spot.
Nice, that was good. Nice, that was pretty good. I don't know if this will be doable or not. I just built this uh, to eventually connect to some of my other stuff over here. Just gonna do like a little line through that area. Nice, cool, I'm happy with that. Couldn't help myself, I started building stuff. Okay, the little line we just did was right there. We have a couple different things going on here. We have an extreme hard line. And then, where am I pointing? A little tame line to get to where we just were. There's a little clearance check right here, a side hill here. We'll run through them both. We'll start off with the extreme hard line. This one is not able to do it, but somebody will be able to. Starts off easy. And then the idea is to stay on these two little rocks and then you're going to turn up through here. It's definitely going to be doable by somebody. I, w I had the body pulled off of this one, trying it, and it comes very close. You get the idea, and then up through here. Okay, next we have the more tame, the more tame line. Starts with the drop. Another drop. This is a tough spot for axles to get caught on. Side hill. switch in case I need to catch it. I just did this with the body off, but the body might be too much weight.
There we go. I just needed to turn up onto it higher. And then this is a tight transition to this next rock. And then the rest is no big deal. I think I'm going to do one more line uh, down under this rock and then maybe somehow up through that one. And I was just looking at this. I wonder if we can go up onto this. Okay, sweet. I might like this better. And then this leads us to that hard line that I just showed. I might get rid of that bridge. And then, yeah, I think this will be it up through here. Sweet. Oh, I have no idea how it just did that. That little ledge is so skinny. Sweet. Hey, wake up. Mm. You forgot to write this one. Nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Final thoughts. What do we think, boys? This was good. If I was looking to get more... more if I was looking to get more performance out of this. I would add inserts in the front tires. I had a lot of spots where I was trying to turn to get up onto something or just to like follow the line and it just kept wanting to push me like that. I actually had to refilm quite a few things because of this happening and I couldn't get up on the line. It was getting quite frustrating. I think this... Should I even bother saying that? <laughs> Wait, you... You duct taped the window one? I just now saw that. Look at the tape in there. Okay. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? I can't believe you duct taped the windshield. Oh, it's electrical tape. You electrical taped the windshield. That's a good one. What was I saying? Another complaint with this. Side hilling and back falling. I think it's just because of the heavier hard body, which is okay, because it looks sweet. Speaking of looking sweet, let's talk about the looks. I love the colors with... I love the color combination with this little RC Steve... R... RC Steve stripe breaking the two colors up. This is super cool. 
appearance, 10 out of 10. I like this one so much. The wheels, the colors, it looks really cool. Good job. Um, here's something I wanted to talk about. I see this quite often posted on the gram. I'm not suggesting that you need to do this. I just want to talk about it in general. High clearance. People keep getting these high clearance chassis and links and then the body hangs down lower than the links. I'm mentioning this because it kind of ruins the high clearance. Like whenever you're trying to get up over something, you're still going to hit the body there even though the links, you have plenty of clearance there but the body still hangs down. I think ideally for more performance you'd want to trim out a section of the body here. But like I said, I'm not suggesting you do that because this looks sweet as is and I'd hate to cut up the body. But for all you other guys, something to consider. What else we got here? I'm not sure how I feel about your little thread uh, thread things. So I'm just not going to say anything about it. This might be one of my favorite look favorite looking ones. The colors with the wheels. Everything just works so well together. Also, does anyone else feel like they're going to break the body trying to get these flub RC magnets off? These magnets are the strongest things I've ever felt, which is good. This sucker's going to hold the body on no matter what. I feel like I could throw this off a cliff and the body would still be on. But I always... <clears throat> I'm always so afraid I'm going to rip the body in half trying to get it off. Wait, you've got everything electrical taped together. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. That's good. Sweet. Let me know what you guys think. Did you like this one? Rock Candy RC, thank you so much for all of my stuff. Old Henry, all my goodies, everything. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed.